Hey guys, it's here, our two interview the Dollar Pin Leg Leg, DC Superheroes, Firestorm, and Booster Go. So, these are the boxes right here. Um, so, as you can see, it's recommended for just uh, 6 or 12, and this is set DLP9072. And for Firestorm, he is 17 out of uh, the 20 minifigures. And for Booster Gold, he is 19 out of the 20 minifigures. Uh, so, you got a very nice box right here, you know, with all of them power up using their powers. And uh, this is the top of the box. This is the side for Booster Go. You know, he does have the instructions. And this is the other side. It shows you how to build the motorcycle for Booster Go. And this is the back. Uh, it shows you the entire set. Uh, this is a 20 pack set with Marvel and DC characters. And for Marvel, you have 10 figures. And for DC, you have 10 May figures. So. Yo, know, does have some very nice figures, and you have the Justice League right here. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the boxes. So for Firestorm, uh, he does have an instruction paper which shows you how to build the mini car top thing. Uh, it shows you how to build Firestorm, and shows you the parts list, and you got the instruction. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So the first main figure right here is Firestorm. Uh, so for his headpiece here, you do have uh, this fire uh, piece, which is a separate mode instead of uh, dual molded like the original LEGO version. This was also included in the Ghost Rider set that's made by Shingon. So yeah, that's that. And I guess it's a very useful piece, you know. If you have other fiery char characters, and uh, for his face print here, you have this kind of smiling face. I'm not sure why they changed the skin tone from brown to this peach color, but you know that's that. And for the torso print, you have this quantum splicer here, uh, and you have the six pack. You have a little bit of a uh, belt printing. You have some leg printing as well. This is the back torso print, you have this round red thing, and you have more of these lines or wires, and you got the belt print. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Firestorm. The second main figure right here is Booster Gold. So, he does have his Legion ring right here, but it's kind of unfortunate that they didn't include the transparent uh, piece where, you know, he can hold hold on to it. So yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't include that, but yeah, so for his hair piece here, you have this Superman hair piece in yellow, which is cool. And for his face print, you have this blank expression, you have this visor here, and for the torso print, you have uh, his logo, you have the six pack, you have the belt, and you have the boots. And there's no dual modded legs for him, unfortunately. Which does kind of suck, but you do have back leg printing. You also have back torso printing with this blue stripe, and he does not have any alternate expression. So, yeah. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Booster Gold. So, for the first build here, this is Firestorm's car. So, uh, it does have Firestorm's uh, color scheme, which is nice, and the wheels here. You know, they are just plastic wheels, they are not rubber or anything like that. You know, they move uh, okay. And uh, yeah, uh, you have this steering wheel right here, you know, in a very nice color. And yeah, uh, you have the, this back part. And yeah, aside from that, there's not much else to this car. And the second build here is Booster Goat's uh, motorcycle. Um, so this is a dirt bike in yellow, so it does look pretty cool. And at the front here, you have this uh, Legion logo printing, which is pretty cool. You can put him on, he rides on there pretty nicely. He can also hold the Legion ring, and yeah. Uh, aside from that, there's not much else to this motorcycle. So overall conclusion of these two main figures here, so how do I think of them? Um, well, for the figures themselves, I think they are pretty good. Um, Booster Goat here, he's uh, really nice, except that it, it does kind of suck that they skipped out on the dual mode legs. They could have made the dual mode legs, but they didn't because Dolapine has been cutting costs 
on their sets and minifigures recently. Not sure why, but yeah. Uh, so for Firestorm, I think he's fine. You know, it's just that maybe they have made it more accurate to the original Lego version by making his skin tone to brown. So yeah. Uh, and for the builds, um, yeah, Firestorm's character is just irrelevant. You know, they could have uh change it to a better build, you know, something better than this, um, maybe like a terrain build or something, I'm not sure, but uh, just something better than this, but for the dirt bike uh, for Booster Go, I think it's great, it's nice that you have uh, this Legion logo at the front, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice to add to your collection, and yeah, overall, um, I think these two figures here, they are pretty good. It's just that maybe Dolapine uh, needs to improve on their builds and also on their cutting cost stuff. The quality is great and yeah, uh, if you like them, then I think you should get them. So, uh, buy links for the set here down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon.